Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today we're gonna try Jaguar for Man Oud. So a new Jaguar fragrance with the classic type of bottle, not the modern one. There's nothing much to show. Now here's the box. And it says under Lalic Beauty because it's Lalic that makes fragrance for the brand Jaguar. So anyway, let's try to smell. First one I smell it, there's a lot of freshness. You have a bit of like bergamot, cinnamon leaf with a lot of woodiness, a lot of cedar. You can have some uh, Goyak wood also. You can have some papyrus, a bit of patchouli, a bit of labdanum also. That's about it. Now one thing you need to know, before I keep going with description of the fragrance, even though it's called oud, there is no oud in the fragrance. And the reason it's called oud is because it's creating a, a oud accord. Now on paper, I'm not picking up much of an oud accord, but on my skin, definitely I'm picking up that oud type of, of smell on my skin. And so I'm picking up a oud note, but I'm picking up like the kind of smell that you're having with an oud fragrance. On my skin, what I was picking up, on the top notes, there was a lot of cinnamon leaf, a bunch of papyrus, a bunch of patchouli, a bunch of lavender, and a bunch of labdanum. Also a little bit of bergamot, a little bit of goyak wood, and a little bit of vanilla. In the heart, I was picking up a lot of cinnamon leaf, a bunch of goyak wood, a bunch of papyrus, a bunch of cedar, a bunch of patchouli, a bunch of labdanum, and a little bit of vanilla. In the base, I was picking up a lot of vanilla, bunch of papyrus, bunch of labdanum, and a little bit of patchouli. And in a far dry down, I was picking up just a lot of vanilla and that's it. Production is average. A little bubble around me. People were able to pick it up. Longevity though was really good. Over 12 hours. And for the complete note breakdown, top notes are lavender extract and bergamot. Heart notes are Goyakwood Atlas Cedar, Cinnamon Leaf, and Jasmine. And the base notes are Vanilla, Papyrus, Patchouli, and Labdanum. Now where I would see this fragrance, really nice, a bit spicy, woody, and masculine. So I think it will be a good business scent as a dating fragrance. I don't think it will be so good, but it wouldn't be bad either. If you're into those oriental fragrance, Middle Eastern fragrance, I should even say, that has the feel of it a little bit. So yeah, it would work. Uh, it's not what's popular right now as a dating fragrance, but it's nice and it could work. It does have the same scent that is like putting off people with the wood. You know, a lot of people hate the wood note. And even though there's no wood, people that hate the note of wood will probably hate this fragrance too. So just keep that in mind. In the summer winter spectrum, I would say it might be a bit harsh for summer. You know, Jaguar fragrance are kind of a lower end level of fragrance for Lalique. So they are like the cheap Lalique fragrance. So don't expect a high quality of Lalic. Expect something cheaper and also with cheaper ingredient. So might be like nasty in summer, too intense and weird. Winter, I don't think it will cut through the cold. Though if you over spray, you put a lot of spray, you should be able to make it work in winter. Overall, I would say it's more for transitional season, fall and spring. Personally, this type of smell, I see it more for fall, but it's just a personal preference. And as an everyday fragrance, if you're really into those wood fragrance um, and you want something really cheap, that would work perfectly. Lasts the whole day, smells really nice, especially for something that doesn't have wood inside of it and that call itself wood. It's really great. A lot of unique notes, a lot of nice notes. Pretty much what you're looking for for an everyday fragrance. Now the type of fragrance is not what I would put in that type of fragrance, what I would see usually, but definitely it's really easy. It's just cheap fragrance, lasts a whole day. It's really easy to enjoy, consider, like unless you don't like wood, but that's perfect fragrance for an everyday fragrance.
in the end, I'm really happy that I was able to try it. I was really intrigued by uh, wood fragrance without wood. As always, Lalique, they do a good job making fragrance. Um, even though it's not really their brand name, they still put an effort and some thought into making their their fragrance with Jaguar. So it's a great scent, especially, again, if you like wood. If you don't like wood, that's a bad scent. And definitely, it's a cheap, it's a cheapy, so if ever you want to buy a bottle to have free shipping or something like that you won't be disappointed and also if you just want some cheap fragrance and you like wood middle eastern fragrance something you most likely will enjoy so hope you enjoyed the video if it's the case we'll like and share if you tried this fragrance tell me what you think about it also if you're a big fan of jaguar tell me which fragrance you like the most from them so thanks for watching and see you soon Thank you.